Hello, hi, I'm Krishna Kekur Tehabit and this is Blank Space. Now, Blank Space is an escape room visual novel with certain point-and-click adventure elements that's in development right now at No Bread Studio and they put out a demo version. The full game is set to come out in 2020, but we have the demo, so let's check it out together. This is Blank Space. And yeah, that's blood. Ew. That's gonna be a problem. Alright, this is a work of fiction. Names, characters, businesses, places... Okay. Oh. Water dripping? Okay, jeez, that's loud. What the... <laughs> exactly, what the... Oh, damn. What the hell was I doing last night? I was at the club again, wasn't I? Waking up to unfamiliar ceilings is shitty, but usually not as weird as this. I don't remember getting kidnapped. I don't seem to have a hangover for that matter, so I'm pretty sure I didn't drink that much either. Oh, great. Handcuffs. This is cool. Okay, this is fine. This is probably normal. I've woken up in strange places before. Chained to pipes and stuff. Uh, come on, stupid piece of shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, I guess it's not one of those cheap imitation toys after all. For real though, where the bloody hell am I? And what's that dripping sound? Where the hell is it even coming from? It's not the pipe. Also, what the hell is with the, the decor here? There's no color in, in, in anything except... Huh? Seems like I'm not the only one who got into trouble. Was she at the club yesterday too? She does seem to be wearing some kind of party dress. I don't think I recognize her though. She looks kinda pale. Please tell me she's not dead. Then again, I look pretty pale too. It must be the lighting in this place. Hey! You alive? Nothing. She's either a heavy sleeper or she's not sleeping at all. Okay, let's calm down. You wake up in a strange room, what's the first thing you do? You check your pockets, obviously. Well, that's actually a pretty good idea. Cell phone's gone, which is to be expected. Pocket knife's gone also, which is also to be expected. Uh, fuck. <sighs> Don't tell me they took my cigs too. Cell phone, I can understand, but cigarettes? Goddamn sadists. Nicotine withdrawal kicking in in 3, 2, 1... Okay, I guess it's not that bad for now. Uh, no cell phone, no cigs, no tools, limited movement range. Guess I'm starting to run out of options. At least she seems to be in more, uh, a more comfortable predicament than I am. But she's still chained up though. Let's see, throw your boot at her, keep shouting or wait. Let's shout, let's not throw stuff. Hey, Missy, wake up! They're going to carry you along with that cor uh, with that couch. Oh, she's awake. Oh, you're finally awake. I believe that's my line. You wish. I was waiting for you to wake up for so long I fell asleep again. The fuck? For real? How long was I out? Well, the clock said nine, uh, 19 minutes past 8 when I gave up and closed my eyes. There's a clock on the wall? I can't really see it from over here. And, and now? It still says 19 minutes past 8. It hasn't moved since I first saw it. So all I can tell you is long enough for me to get very bored. Okay. Hmm? Well, this might be a bit of a problem. Yeah, seems like we're both a bit chained up. I was wondering if you'd panic, but you don't seem very surprised. You alright? 
Well, here's to hope she hasn't been drugged or something. It's not the first time this has happened to me. Not the first time this has happened to you? What? You wake up cuffed in weird rooms with strangers all the time? Important question. Do you remember how you got here? No, not exactly. I see. We're playing out scenario B then. Scenario B? What the fuck? Oh, don't mind me, just thinking out loud. Wait, she knows something. Is a friend of yours trying to play the wingman by locking you up in shady rooms with strangers hoping you'll see you'll find the one? Creative, I like that in the man. What the right. Do you remember how you got here? Hmm, I might. But I need to think some things uh, through before I tell you anything. Oh, that's fucking helpful. I aim to please. Right. I think I'm already losing count of all the red flags. Have we met before? Mm, I'm pretty sure this is the first time you've seen me. Careful choice of words. Are you implying it's the first time I've seen you, but not necessarily the first time you've seen me? Oh, creative and clever. You some kind of stalker or something? People these days so paranoid. Can you fucking blame me? Don't flatter yourself. Besides, if I was going to go stalking someone, why would I pick you? Beats me what's going on in the mind of a stalker. Hmm. I guess you didn't like that. She definitely seems weird. Her reactions after waking up and her general attitude are red flags, if I've ever seen any. Normal people don't act so calmly in situations like this. And she seems barely phased. Either she's high or in cahoots with whoever is that brought me here, or there's something very wrong with her. One thing's for sure, I shouldn't trust this girl. You have a name, Fluffy Boy? Huh. <laughs> Hell, maybe I do. It doesn't seem like the smartest idea to be giving it to you, though. Will you help me find introduce myself first? I'm Beryl. Barrel like a stone? Wow, your parents really went out with that one. All out with that one. That's to be, supposed to be her stage name? I wouldn't be surprised. Other people tell me it's a pretty name. Well, a lot of people trying to shove dollar bills in your underwear that time. Creative, clever, but not a good judge of character, it seems. I suppose two out of three isn't bad. Were your parents more creative than that? There's no way in hell I'm giving this chick my real name. What kind of name do you want to give her? Well, she's Beryl, so I would be... Another stone, kinda. Mm, oh yeah, I'm Obsidian. <laughs> Call me Obsidian. Obsidian, really? What, something wrong with it? Not at all. It's a pleasure to meet you, Obsidian. I wish I could say the same. Well, now that the pleasantries are out of the way, if you have any info regarding what the fuck, where the fuck we are and or what the fuck we're doing here, I'd appreciate it. I don't know about you, but one course of action seems obvious to me. Okay, that being? Getting out of here, what else? Well, now you're actually speaking my language, okay. You probably have more range of movement than I do, and you can probably see more too. Do you check your surroundings properly? It's a bit hard to move around with these cuffs around my wrist. You can still stand up, can't you? The pipe extends all the way up to the ceiling. There's some kind of safe above you. Oh, huh. How the hell did I miss that? Maybe my drain didn't manage to wake up properly yet. Why don't you get? Why don't you check it out? Meanwhile, let me see if I can find anything on this side. Hmm. It's so dark in this corner; I can barely see anything. If only I had my phone with me. See the world through the eyes of an adult. 
That's what it says here, and there are a bunch of equations next to it. They don't seem to make much sense though. Anything else? Well, there's also a numpad on the safe. See the world to the eyes of a child. That's what mine says. Wait, you have a safe over there too? Yes, it's on the side of the sofa. It's got a numpad as well. What kind of couch has a safe built into it? There's also a sun symbol right next to the text. Wait, a sun symbol? I have a symbol here that uh, that's on my handcuffs. Like that, that's on my handcuffs. And there's a snowflake symbol next to the quote on my side. Well then, I have a symbol like that on my cuff too. You think the quote on my side is meant to be a clue for you and vice versa? It's either that or someone's insulate, uh, insinuating that you're a special snowflake and I'm hot stuff. Hell, maybe. What did yours say again? See the world to the eyes of a child. Hmm. I have an equation here too. It's not that complicated, but I need either a calculator or something to write it, uh, with to solve it. I won't be able to do this in my head. Let's concentrate on solving yours first. Wait, this is stupid. What is? The answer is supposed to be a single digit? That can't be right, can't it? Even if I didn't know the answer, what the answer was, that's like only 9 possible combinations. Well, 10 if you also count 0. Inputting every single one would uh, uh, just uh, eventually make me find it. Before you end up doing anything, have you considered the possibility that inputting the wrong number might freeze the system? What if there's no second chances? Hmm... Okay, I guess you make a fair point. We wouldn't want to end up uh, to end up being stuck here forever, would we? Besides, aren't you curious about the code used behind the riddle itself? What if figuring out how to read those equations might be useful for us somewhere later on? Somewhere later on, like where? It's just an idea, a possibility. Right. Hmm. So, did you figure it out yet? Uh, no? Not yet, any thoughts? I can't really see the riddle from where I am, you know. But from the info you've given me, see the world to the eyes of a child. Think about what it might mean. Children don't necessarily know how to count things properly. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's see, so see the world to the eyes of a child, so we have four zeros equals four, four, three zeros and one equals three, so each, so it's the zeros, so yeah, so we have four zeros here, three here, two here, here we have four, we have, oh, okay, so it's not the zeros, it's the... Um, it's kind of like the ovals, so uh, 0069 has four ovals, the two zeros and the ones from 6 and 9, okay. This one has zero because there's no ovals, this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, exactly, and this one has 8. Okay, so that means that 8169 has 1, 2, 3, 4, four ovals, so let's uh, input 4. Hey, there we go! Yes! Ha! Huh. Did you get it right? No, you know, it seems like there's some brain cells left in that head after all. Unless that was a lucky guess. Right, whatever. This puzzle is easy once you realize what uh, what it's all about. A lot of puzzles are like that. A lot of puzzles are like that. So, what's the catch with this one? Why don't you come over and solve it yourself? Hmm, I might, once I'm able to. Alright. Now, what's inside of the safe? Huh. Anything useful? There's more than one thing, it seems. Okay, a razor blade. What the hell do I need a razor blade for? Well, at least it's in the case. Guess I can just stuff it into my pocket for now. Next up. 
A key with a snowflake, maybe. A key? Oh? I think it's one anyway. It actually looks like a hex key. Huh, this actually makes me think of something from a childhood video game. Wouldn't it be funny if the key was made of ice too? Then again, if it was, it would be melted. It would have melted before I opened the safe. Earth to Obsidian! What the hell am I even thinking about at a time like this? Okay, so we got that. Oh, and a calculator! Well, what do you know? Seems like it might be your lucky day. We are now in the possession of a fine piece of technology that will help us with tricky sums. Hmm? You don't sound very happy. Doesn't it make you wonder? It seems clear that we need to solve your we needed to solve your riddle first in order to solve mine. Isn't that what you assumed earlier? Well, I suggested we could solve yours first since it seemed easier, that's all. But it's apparent that's how it was meant to be solved. Right. Your, and your point being, the, what does that really change? I wonder why they put the easy puzzle on your side. Oh, har har, screw you. Either way, it seems like this predicament is meant to involve teamwork. Yeah, there's nothing better than working together with, the, with creepy strangers you've just met. Alright. Hey, it just occurred to me. You're cuffed on one of the legs of that couch, aren't you? Can't you just lift it and get yourself free? Lift it? Did you actually see me? Do I look like I could lift a sofa this big? Do you think that might be the reason why I'm on this side and you're on yours? Hmm. Touche, I think I'm starting to like you. I'm questioning your tastes already. So, is there anything else in the safe? Nope, that's it. Well, good news for you, I guess. The key I just found has a snowflake on it. And you have a snowflake on your cuff. So, you are reading my mind. Huh? No, your key was in my safe, meaning that mine might be in yours. That's certainly a possibility. Can I trust you, though? It's hard to answer that question when I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I'm currently the one in possession of the key to your freedom, uh, to, the, uh, to the key to your freedom, and you're not in the possession of mine. That's a strong point. You're worried I might run off and just leave you here once I'm free? Considering that's also a possibility, I promise I won't. You won't what? Leave you here. But of course, it's up to you whether you want to trust me or not. I can't exactly force you to give the key to me. She doesn't sound very reassuring. But we are stuck here. And it doesn't seem like, you know, this was meant to just be kind of like a saw event. Where one of us gets out alive and one of us gets killed. So let's give her the key. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't agree to something like this. And again, what does normal even mean anymore? Okay, I'll go ahead and trust you. Think you'll be able to catch it? As long as you don't make it uh, end up at the other end of the room. Catch. Please catch it. Okay, I think she caught Okay, nice, she caught it. Is she free? Huh? It was indeed the key to my freedom. Nice. Okay, that's good. And just like that, you're at my mercy now. What? How thrilling. Jesus, she's a psycho. Are you scared? Feel free to ask that question again in a minute or so. So, will you help me with my puzzle? You can solve it yourself, you know, the calculator is right here. Oh, but where would be the fun in that? So far I've been doing all the work, you want me to solve this one for you too? Well, one would think it would be in your best interest. I'm not the one left chained to a pipe around here after all. Ah, uh, this is what I get for trying to be nice. I still appreciate it. Ah, uh, you don't sound like it. Alright, you said something about numbers. Do we need to solve some kind of equation? That's right. It's uh, 6,620 plus 
six, uh, two, 2612 times 25. Seems pretty straightforward. It's easy when you have a calculator or a piece of paper to write on, not so easy when you have to work out the whole equation in your head. Point taken, true. The tricky part is the equation order though. Are you good with math? I got my back in school, mind you, it's been a while since I, I had a math class. Surely you still remember some of the basics? Well, of course I do. Uh, if there are no brackets in the equation, which calculation do you make first, addition or multiplication? Clearly you know the answer yourself, so why are you asking me? I thought you wanted to help me with my puzzle, not complain about it. Oh Jesus, okay, so no brackets, that multiplication supersedes addition. Multiplication, obviously. Besides, you call the other of operations, not the equation order. Hmm, so you were, so you were paying attention in class. It doesn't take a math genius to know this. Well, let's give it a try. 2612 times 25. That's 65,300. And now add 6620. Uh, 6, Alright, gives us 71,920. Done. Did that work? Good job, team. Nice. Catch. What, a key? A key for my... Thanks. Are you still scared? Well, he didn't break your promise, so I'm a bit less paranoid now. But I'm guessing this isn't the end of our problems. Alright, I'm free. It's good to be free. There we go. Nice, no more handcuffs. I'll go ahead and keep these. Was there anything else in your safe? Only your key. Are you sure? Obsidian, you told me everything what that was in your safe. I'm telling you everything that was in mine. There's nothing apart from the key. It just feels like overkill using such big safes for such a small for, for, for such small keys. You can double check if you don't believe me. Nah, it's fine. I don't know what the razor blade here is for and I don't care. If anything, it's a sharp and potentially dangerous tool and I don't feel like mentioning it to someone like this girl in case she'd like to inspect it for herself. And here's to hope the other Satan didn't have one inside as well, which she chose not to mention for the same reason I didn't. Her dress doesn't seem to have pockets, but I can think of a few places something so thin could be hidden with ease. Hmm, am I being too paranoid? Anything interesting you're thinking about? Alright, uh, what are the odds that those doors are actually unlocked? I'd say some 5%? My thoughts exactly. Well, let's go check, just to be on the safe side. Uh, locked, right. Yep, no luck here, of course they're locked. Now, that's a 100% certainty at least. I believe it's time to search for another key, one that might unlock freedom for uh, us both this time around. Uh, I hate this place already. Notice, the inventory screen is now available from the quick menu. You can select or combine items here. To combine items, select two items and then click combine. Of course, not all combinations will work. Alright, so we have the inventory, and in the inventory we have the razor blade, the calculator, the sun key, and the handcuffs. Okay. Ooh, half school, half prison. All educational. Are you talking from experience? Hey, can't you fit through these? No, because while you're being a tit, I have tits and hips. Yeah, I've noticed. Highlight of the day so far for your tiny brain, right? Little things amuse little minds, isn't that what they say? Mm, okay, so there's two doors, huh? So, what do you know? There's something with actual color around here after all. A pair of doors, one of them is red. Looks ominous. Perhaps it requires a blood sacrifice to open. 
I knew I was keeping sharp objects away from you for a reason. So that's it, you're hiding your sharp wit, of course! Whatever. Okay. Three desks lined up next to each other. A bit minimalistic for a classroom. This whole room is too small for a classroom as it is. Well, I suppose I could, uh, I could seat another three if you took the sofa into account. I'm sure that made you feel like a real student. Maybe it's a drawing class and the sofa is where the nude model goes? So that's why you were stunning me while I was uh, while I was asleep? From the naughty corner no less? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Let's see if we can find anything else in these. Oh? What the fudge? Is this half of a key card? Clearly we need to find the other half too. And then what? Glue it together? Hmm. Okay. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Hmm, seems like one half of, of a pair of scissors. Great, we're totally in need of one, sh one more sharp and potentially dangerous item. Oh, would you like to elaborate on that? Forget it, give me that. Okay, so we got... Fuck. What fuck? So we got... Half of a key card... And half of a half half a scissor pair of scissors, great. Hmm, what? What's wrong? You know, it only just occurred to me, but there's something very wrong with this room. What do you mean? Don't tell me you didn't notice. It's almost like this place doesn't feel real. Give me your hand. What? Hey! Did you just pinch me? Seems real enough to me. Oh, Jesus. No, there are no windows in this room for that matter. Think about it. Um, maybe we're somewhere underground. Either that or someone simply wasn't fond of sunlight. Well, did you bring your holy water then? <laughs> okay, let's see what we got around here. That's the door. Uh, right. Let's go here. Now. What's this? It's a pot with some dirt in it. It's like a really big jar, isn't it? I mean, what are we meant to do with a whole pot of dirt? Camouflage all your dirty thoughts in it? Huh. Right. Okay. So that's the safe, and there's nothing inside. Uh, seems comfy. Clearly somebody knows how to treat a lady. I suppose it would feel weird had our roles been reversed, all things considered. Oh? You didn't seem like much of a gentleman at first glance, Obsidian. Whatever. The ankle cuffs that were holding her are still here. But they're a bit big for me to take, especially with how long that chain is. It seems like better left the key leaning against them though. That's something I can take. For safekeeping. Okay. Let me see, let me try something out. Can we combine the keys? The ice key and the sun key. No. Okay, it doesn't work. Uh, okay. Alright, this is something. Considering this whole room look, looks a bit like some kind of miniature classroom, I'm guessing this is supposed to be the teacher's desk? Seems like the teacher is absent though. Hell, who knows, maybe I was put here to teach you a lesson. Hmm, should I start calling you sir? <laughs> uh, I like the sound of that, yeah, why not? Well then sir, forgive me for being a naughty student with no regard for privacy. Yeah, those doors won't open themselves. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Second drawer on the right seems to be locked. We need a key to open this one. Oh? Ooh, hello! Good luck. What do you know, the teacher is rich! Though, it's not some sort of currency I've seen before. Judging by its size and design, I'd put my bet on this being some kind of casino chip. It even has a good luck motto on it. I believe your bet would be a good bet. 
Although it seems really thin for a casino chip. Hmm. Okay. Duct tape. Always need some duct tape. This is a tape roll in the drawer. Yeah, I wonder if I could tape your mouth shut with it. Alright. We got a fuse. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could use the tape when I find the other half of the key card to, you know, piece them together. Alright, what else we got here? Here. Locked. This one doesn't even doesn't even budge. Maybe that door, uh, that front drawer is just uh, there to look decorative, but doesn't actually do anything useful. Now, who does that remind me of? <laughs> uh, this door doesn't want to open either. I don't see any locks on it though. Maybe there's some kind of trick to it, or maybe some student wants to prank the teacher and glued it shut. Okay, now. The most obvious thing, the laptop. Hey, somebody left us a laptop. A laptop, great. Does it have access to the internet? I think you were meant to ask whether it has some blackmail videos in store for us. Blackmail videos? Well, that's usually how this kind of shit goes down, right? I doubt someone left it for us to, uh, for us so we can take a moment to relax and play video games on it. Well, it seems we won't be playing anything until we figure out what the password for unlocking it is. Can you reverse time? I'm guessing that's the clue for this one. And it seems like the answer is a four letter or four digit password. Any ideas? I mean... <sighs> there's... The clock? Where's the clock? There we go, the clock. It's a blackboard. It doesn't seem to have any secret messages for us. Hmm. <laughs> draw a penis, express your rebel side, or don't draw anything. Well, I'm not gonna draw a penis, I'm gonna be rebellious. What? What's he going to do? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm leaving a message for the mastermind. Constructive feedback is always welcome. We don't need no education in the wall. Nice. Uh, any more constructive and I'd be building a wall. Okay, let's check out the clock. So this one's stuck, huh? It's still stuck at 19 minutes past 8. Okay, so let's write this down. So it's 8... 19. I think it's pretty safe to say that the clock is broken. Either that or we're inside, inside of some kind of strange room where time stands still. Yeah, hilarious. Obviously, it was a clue. Hmm, right. Is this the time we're supposed to reverse? I mean, it's the only time we have around here. The clock is showing three digits, not four. Perhaps you need to look at them in, in a different way than... Well... 08... Maybe instead of 8? 0819? Okay, let's try that. Alright, let's try something. 0819. Didn't the clue say to reverse time? Oh, uh, okay, reverse time. So, wait, the verse would be 9180. Let's try. 9180. Are you trying to reverse 0819? The lights are on, so it might be night time. The lights are on because there's no damn windows, genius. But maybe it does want 8 o'clock in the evening rather than in the morning. So wait, so it would be 2019 and then the reverse would be 1902. Okay. Right? Let's try. Oh, 9102. Oh, nice. There we go. So it was not actually 0918, but 2019, in a 24-hour hour notation, which makes it 8.19pm. Uh, Again, you're assuming that clock, was, what, that clock was supposed to tell us anything besides giving a clue to solving this riddle. But it does hint at the current year, doesn't it? Huh, maybe it's just that then. Maybe, 2019? Maybe it's the year it wanted reverse, not an hour. Hmm, maybe. 
didn't uh, don't you get the weird feeling that there's more to these puzzles than what meets the eye though what do you mean perhaps there's some kind of deeper meaning to them well no so we got a snowflake and the sun right on the keys and on the um, handcuffs sun snowflake and then 2019 so it would be maybe summer and winter summer and winter 2019 like what okay now you're starting to overthink things stop before it spars out of control and you end up losing your mind we're in a suspicious in a suspicious enough pl uh, looking place that is as it is i guess you're right okay wait what the hell is this a CD key. Really? Someone clearly clearly liked their puns. The things I have to live and see. Huh, the key is stuck to the disc though, isn't it? Well, maybe I can use the... No, dude! Not it. Wait, I was thinking maybe I could use the razor to cut the... Eh, never mind. I suppose it was designed to be snapped apart like that since the brakes... The, the brakes are too even. Be careful what you're doing with your brute strength next time. You break something that's not meant to be broken and we're, we're really going to be stuck here forever. Okay, well at least we got the key. So, you know, we're progressing. So, let's... Uh, hmm. We solved the riddle, but the screen didn't change. Perhaps that wasn't uh, its only purpose then. Hmm, maybe. Okay, but we got ourselves a key. Uh, okay, let's try it here. The key doesn't seem to fit here. So wait, is it then the... The door? Okay, let's see if the key we found might actually unlock the door. Really? It worked? Oh, come on! Oh, I actually didn't expect that. I didn't actually expect another freaking wall and... Are you about to say feels good to be true? <laughs> Don't jinx it. Feels too so good to be true. Oh, great. So unlocking and opening that door opens up the way to another door. And let me guess, this one's locked too. What is wrong with this place? The two of you combined. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six letters. Oh yeah, and it's a letter, see? Six letters. Sun and snow, maybe? No, because it's seven then. Okay, we'll see. Clearly whoever placed us here isn't very fond of the idea of letting us leave easily. Whoever placed us here is getting a boot to the face when I see them. The two of you combined. That's what it says. And there's room for a six-letter word this time. The two of us combine, huh? Well, what could you uh, what could you get when you combine two people? Hot sex? Babies? Girl, what are you going on? What's going on in your head? The riddle made me do it. <laughs> right. Shut up. And no kids are also six each. Now we're starting to get really creative. Uh, am I going to have to shut you up? Oh, you like to gag your partners? Oh, Jesus, don't tell me. So we're partners now? Stop putting words in my mouth. Do all of, you, do all of, all of your partners leave you because you assume too much? Now who's the one doing the assuming? <laughs> Touché, I like that. I just can't win with this girl, can I? And I was just putting two and... Uh-oh. Hey, 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 are you okay? Beryl. Don't tell me she fainted. What the hell? Let me place her back on the couch. Maybe she's drugged. There we go. I could cuff her right now. Come on, dude. I mean, I won't, but I could. <laughs> Fuck, I seriously hate my brain sometimes. Wait. 
What? Is it just me or... Is she not breathing? What? She died? Come on, what? No, that's impossible. You know what this means, don't you? What? What does this mean? Oh, okay, so that okay, okay, so that was the end of the demo. Uh that was kind of like okay, that was weird though. So that was the end of the demo, that was blank play uh, blank space. Blank space will be coming to Kickstarter in October 2019, so keep an eye out. Well, you yeah, know, that's that's something to look forward to. The Kickstarter campaign. Now, of course, before that, you can check out the demo, you can try it out. It is available, as I mentioned, on itch.io. It's available for Windows and Mac OS. Uh, just download it for free, try it out. Um, maybe there's some stuff that I haven't found in the demo, so, you know, try it for yourself. And of course, once the Kickstarter rolls in, if you want to support the game, pledge, um, you know, a, a sum that, a, a sum that is, uh, you know, you know, you consider appropriate. And hopefully everything's gonna go well with the Kickstarter, with the development, and we'll see the full release of Blank Space in 2020 because, I mean, it's definitely intriguing. Uh, you have, you know, the two characters, they don't, well, there's de definitely something off with, uh, with Beryl. She knows something, she wasn't surprised, there's something off with her. She knows more than she gives out, that's for sure. And maybe that's one of the reasons why she had to faint, so she wouldn't help me or disclose something or say something that, I don't know, would expose someone else. But again, that's, you know, all, that's all me, you know, assuming stuff. And she did say that, you know, we assume too much. But that's another thing, you know, you know, it's, it's a different situation, it's a different and uncomfortable situation being trapped and not knowing anything and... Uh, it's, it's weird, but we'll have to see. Uh, for now, check out the demo, the full release, hopefully in 2020. Thanks so much everyone for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up really quick. And if you like what I do here, consider subscribing. That would be actually immensely, immensely helpful if you could subscribe. Tell other people about the channel, spread the word, check out the back catalog too. Because there's tons and tons of uh, cool games to discover. I'm on YouTube, I'm on BitChute, I'm on DTube. Just, you know, give, uh, give those channels a look. On any of those three platforms, just search for Cryptic Hybrid, you'll find me easily. Uh, see the back catalogs there. And of course, after that, if you can, take half a minute to see the ways through which you can support You can support me. They're all in the description below. You can either give me a direct donation through PayPal, or you can support me with the purchases that you make on the Epic Games Store, the Humble Store, Fanatical. All you have to do in those cases is either use an affiliate link or a creator tag, and those are listed in the description. Now, if you do that, you don't pay anything extra for the stuff that you buy, you just tell that store to send me a small percentage of the money you spend there. So whenever you do, you do your game shopping, please think of me and use uh, the appropriate links or uh, creator tag, and uh, that will be super, super appreciated. Now, last but not least, another way to help out, download and try out the Brave Browser, download it to the referral link in the description. Uh, give it a go, I think you're gonna like it. Now, the Brave Browser is an open source, privacy-focused browser that has a built-in ad blocker, it blocks trackers, it's based on Chromium, so it's gonna be very familiar to you if you use Chrome already, if you use Opera. I've been using the Brave Browser since the end of January and it replaced Chrome for me to become my daily driver, so I, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's cool, it works really well, and uh, the people there have some some pretty good ideas about privacy and about a new way of, um, of doing advertising um, so that you get a piece of the ad pie. And you know you don't just give your information to every single company out there and let them make all the profits while you go get shit in return or just you know a, a su supposedly free service. So check it out, try it. Now if you already use the Brave browser, I am a verified publisher. So on any video on YouTube, on any video of mine on YouTube, on any post on Twitter at Cryptic Hybrid, you can tip me. Even one basic attention token is super. Super, super appreciated. Uh, thanks again, everyone, for watching. This has been Blank Space. And until the next time we see each other, thank you and have an awesome day.